So now what we have to do is dynamically update our images inside of any given post to be responsive. So if we look inside of like a view, for example, that has one of our images, so this new project one, if we look at that, we see that this image is like slightly coming out, right? It's not exactly like the same sort of layout as the other image. Um, in fact, if we used an even bigger image, this would be even more apparent. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna create a new post and I'll just say new image post and we're only gonna use an image inside of the content. We're not actually gonna use a preview type image like we've done before. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy a link of a big image. This could be any image you'd like. This just happens to be a pretty big one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And inside of my post here, I'm gonna just post in an image and that's it. Notice it, it even the preview has it going way out there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and create that post. And now if we look at this post, we've got this giant image and it's really just not fitting inside of our post. And then another issue actually occurs when we do that is if we go to post itself, we see that it's a broken image. So we have to fix those two things. Now, the first thing is we're gonna fix the size of the image in the detail view. Um, so to do this, it's going to be working off of something we've already done, which was the class of content markdown. So what we're doing now is we're gonna add a jQuery function or method or basically a process that's going to convert all of the content markdown images and add the class of image responsive, which is based off of Bootstrap. So um, if you're not familiar with Bootstrap, of course, that is something that you might wanna look more into. And if you want us to cover it in more detail, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, but as far as this is concerned, we're gonna get all of the images that are in Content Markdown and we're gonna update them to have a image responsive class on them. So we're gonna go in our base.html and we have this Content Markdown. So we already have this running through, right? It's already going through and seeing all of the things inside of Content Markdown. Um, but I'm gonna add one more thing. I'm just basically gonna copy this exactly and then just add space IMG. I'll explain that in a second. And I'm gonna replace all of this and I'll just do dollar sign this dot add class and image dash responsive. Um, okay, so IMG is looking for the image tag that is that, that might have the parent class or some sort of matching class of content markdown. And this will add this image responsive class to it. So it's taking whatever item, just like what we did before, um, that matches that selector, and then it's gonna add a class to it of image responsive. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and check it out in our post and we refresh in here and now it's actually coming through and it looks nice. The size of the image is still the same, right? So if I actually copy the image address and I look at it, it's still that giant image, right? But as far as when it's rendered in our post, it's gonna be a lot smaller than that. Now, of course, there's a lot of things that we could do as far as uploading our own images and referencing those links versus some external links, but that's just not something we're gonna cover quite yet. Instead, let's actually go back into the post list here and see this, this problem happening right here. Now, you might be wondering why is this happening? Because some of it, it's not happening, others it is. And this has everything to do with how we set up the post list in the first place. And that has to do with truncate characters. So if we don't have that truncate characters on here, we refresh, now it actually will show all of the posts inside of what that post is completely. Now, this is something that you might consider doing um, because we're using Markdown. If you weren't using Markdown, or at least if you weren't using Markdown in the way we're using Markdown, you might do a, a completely different way. So for example, instead of using Markdown with jQuery, you could use a Markdown um, library from Django itself and use some Markdown filter here and then use that truncate characters um, and that would be completely okay. So that's actually something we will do in the next one. But the main part here is we just wanted to show you how you can add some dynamic stuff to the image responsive or at least having a responsive image inside of your post itself. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.